everybody. So this video is going to be, as you can tell by the title, laying down Avalon for the first time. Those of you that have followed me, you know how I start this process. Uh, I want to start off by saying, one, this is not for domination reasons. I know a lot of people um, use this method uh, for domination. I, I don't. Uh, I don't believe in that. I do it for a few reasons. Uh, also, I want to say this is not a how-to. I have five videos on my YouTube channel of laying horses down. Um, if you type in eight pine horsemanship laying down or eight pine horsemanship lay down, five different videos will pop up. Three pop up under laying down, two pop up under lay down. So make sure you're wanting to see them all, uh, the ING to laying. Um, but there's a few reasons why I teach this. One is just safety and comfort for the horse. Um, you know, when Kamani got sick, I had done the lay down with her a lot and she actually got cast in the stall back here and I was home alone and I could not get her front feet out. I literally had to rope her back feet, pull her out myself and because I had laid her down so much, she was extremely comfortable with it, didn't thrash or anything and the minute she got up, she actually looked, for, looked at me for a treat. <laughs> so one is comfort for the horse and safety. Two is it's a fun trick. And three is safety for myself. Say we're out on a trail and I'm by myself. Um, I want to know that if I fall off and get hurt and maybe can't stand for some reason, I want to know that if I just take my rein and tap my horse's leg or take my little riding crop that I keep on my saddle and tap Kamani's legs, that she'll go down. I also want you guys to realize this is not the end result. What I'm about to show you is not going to be my end result of how I ask her um, if it was then I would always have to have a rope in order to lay her down so I will show you a clip of how Kamani lays down and that's going to be my end goal for Avalon it's not my end goal is not this video this is just the beginning so again this is not a how-to um, so I will not be explaining nearly as much because I have a lot of other videos on my channel that explain everything I want to start off by saying I'm doing this in a round pin in case she gets away from me. I am not tying her leg up. I'm using a clip on a 25 foot line on a rope and attaching the clip to the rope and it literally slides off. The clip is too big so if she were to get away from me for whatever reason then the rope would just fall off of her leg. I'm also going to desensitize her to the rope since she's never had this done and I'm also doing this in the round pin because it is the area with the most snow. I don't want to lay her down on ice. Um, everywhere else is pretty icy even where I laid down Kamani was a little icy. So I'm just going to show you the one sided desensitizing but you'll notice here in a second she licks and chews. And you'll notice that I use a little bit of positive reinforcement in the beginning with her. She tends to... I don't know, understand things a little bit better if there's a reward, whereas Kamani gets more pushy if there's a reward, uh, and Avalon's more, oh, I got that right, kind of brain. So I guess you guys get to see both sides of the desensitizing. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys first, second, and I think fifth time, and then we'll go towards the middle of the session. So the first time I'm asking her to lean down or go down or go down in some sort of way, I had to bump through up a little bit, but she freaked out a little bit. That's okay. The first time I released because that is what I was looking for is for her to go down. So here's the second time. And now I don't want to reward every single time that they panic. So I don't reward until she quiets down. She went down a little bit, but now she's kind of fighting, wanting that rope off. So I'm just going to hold until she quiets down. Relaxes a little bit. There. So I release there, walk up, give her a treat, and love on her a little bit and fix the rope. This is a little bit further down. Um, she's panicking after her knee touch. That's perfectly normal. But again, I'm not going to release until she quits kind of fighting me a little bit. And you'll notice that the lead rope is now on the other side of her neck. She literally for like two minutes just stood there with her leg up and wouldn't even try. Kind of went to sleep. So I had to kind of pull her neck around the other side and flex her. So there she touched her knee again. Got a little panicked. That's normal for them to panic a little bit. So just wait until they relax. Once they relax, then reward and release. So there she relaxed, so I let her go. And just let her stand there for a second. You can see she cocked her leg right there, licked her lips, and she let out a big old sigh right there. Perfect. So here's the first time she kind of went down a little bit further and held it a little bit. 
So you see right there, my lines are starting to loosen. I completely lose my lines and she got up really quietly, calmly, and right there she popped her leg. So really, really good. She got up nice, quiet, and relaxed. It's exactly what I want. Here's a good example of waiting for them to relax. So she goes down there and then she's just kind of fighting, taking her leg away from me. But I don't tie it. I just feel like that's a dangerous thing to do. So right there she goes down and I release the ropes. And when she gets up, she switches her tail, lets out her grunt, and clocks her leg. So she's kind of figured out now she doesn't get to come back up until she relaxes. Right here, super proud of her again. She goes about halfway down. She gets a little worried and she kind of fixes herself right there and goes back down and holds herself there. And right there you can see my lines loosen and she kind of jumped and freaked out a little bit. So I pulled them tight again. And then right there, I don't have to hold the ropes at all. She's keeping herself there and she gets up nice, quiet, and calm. Again, cocks her leg. She's doing really good. Here's a really great try from her. I'm asking you just a tiny bit more. Either lower your back a little bit or bring in that other leg or lay your head down. Do something a little bit more. Let's ask for a little bit more at this point. So there she gave me two front legs and you can see I dropped the ropes. I'm not even hanging on to them anymore. She's holding herself in that position, kind of thinking about going down. She doesn't. She gets up, but she gets up quiet and calmly. And I really like that. Okay, so I skipped to the end here because you guys kind of get the gist of what's going on. So here she was trying a little bit harder and I just took a couple steps back, didn't even get to add any pressure, and she went down. So something interesting, normally horses when they first go down like that, it kind of scares them a little bit because they're like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And they jump right up. She didn't. You can see there I threw the rope over her back. I don't have a hold of it anymore, but she's never seen me up above her. So, I'm going to love on her a little bit. Sometimes they can jump up. Kind of interesting. She stays down for a little while. So, I end up in the end. You guys will get to see helping her up. Because I just want to make sure she wasn't, like, maybe on a snow pile and couldn't get up. So, you'll see me walk over and love on her neck. And then, I'm going to, uh, you can see here, I'm going to pull on a rope. Kind of hard to see. I'm loosening her leg rope in case sometimes they can kind of feel that tension when they go down on the rope. And they think they can't get up. They think their leg is restrained. So I loosen the rope a little bit, and then I'm going to walk around and undo the leg rope completely, and undo the lead rope completely, and then I'm going to come and get you guys, and you guys will get to see it up close. But really proud of her. Uh, I honestly thought she'd bite me more, because she's definitely more of a fight horse. And she didn't jump towards me as much. She did a few times, but nothing major. Kamani really jumped towards me. So... You can see here, I'm just kind of looking at her, talking to her, making sure she's okay. She's breathing a tiny bit hard, as you guys will get to see, but it is a lot of work. It's a lot of balance. It's her trying to figure out, you know, what she wants to do. If she wants to fight, if she wants to relax, if she wants to go down further or not. So, there's literally the lead rope off. The leg rope is completely off of her. And I'm walking over to get you guys here in a second, and she stays down. Um, I think she just kind of relaxed because I had only been releasing her on relax. So, I'm coming to get you guys. Alright, there's no more ropes on her. That's unclipped, that's unclipped. So, she can get up if she wants. <laughs> I might pick up on her head a little bit and kind of let her know, hey, you can get up. Come on, you can get up. Oh, she licking and chewing. I might just pull her head up here. <laughs> there you go. Kind of show her she can get up. If she wants to lay back down, she can lay back down. Some of them do, others of them... <laughs> Just shoot straight up. I've actually never had one stay down this long. Kind of interesting. So I'm going to help her up here. Let her know she can get up. I'll hook up her lead rope. <laughs> I've never seen one stay down this long, but I've, I think I've always done them in the summertime, not in the snow, too. You're okay. You're okay. Alright, you want to get up? Come on. Get up. 
Get up. Come on. Just kind of swinging my rope here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good girl. Good girl licking and chewing. Her leg is cocked. That's it. We're going to end that session on there. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl.